my lovelies, welcome back to All About Jamie. It's been a while since we last had an unboxing video and I know how much you guys love my unboxing videos. So today, I am going to share with you my latest, newest baby. It's been a bit of a delay because when I came back from London, my eyes came down with this, like this horrible virus. I think it's like a conjunctivitis virus, which I probably got there. It was pretty unbearable. And when I got back and I saw a doctor and no lenses for me, so it was like a 10 days downtime. I couldn't do anything at all. So obviously, I can't really see properly when I don't have my lenses on but well i'm back so let's get to it to be honest this color came as a bit of a surprise i'll tell you why later but did you know that daddy himalayan has gone to the spa that's why they are a set of three now so now you can see that they are a family of three at the moment because daddy hima got a spot of brown on one of his scales and me being me went to rub the scale with like an eraser, a soft cloth. An unfortunate thing is that particular scale is right in the middle of the bag. So that makes it even more heartbreaking. And of course, it is pretty gross just even thinking about it. Okay, back to my new baby. I'm really happy with the color. Although I was looking for something of a neutral shade this time. But well, it seems that you don't get to choose the bag. When you're at a store, the bag actually chooses you. And oh my god, I just realized on this trip that MS has stopped producing the rain protection. They want to go green and because the rain protection is actually made of plastic so they have stopped producing them and um, so our handbags are now no longer um, safe from the rain and I'm glad that I've got lots of rain protection anyway so she will be safe. Tada! This is her and she is a Birkin 25 which is also known as the mini Birkin and she is in Matt Perosa's crop which is um, one of my favorites because the scales are just so, so tiny. So it looks really beautiful, really elegant. And how do you tell that it's a porosis crocodile? By this inverted arrow right here. So this is in the color verdure. It means the green of water because all is water in French. It's like this really pastel shade of light blue, green. It's just a really pretty color. This would be a great addition to my collection simply because like you know the Himalayan is pretty much my neutral bag and I've got various bags in white and beiges, creams, you name it, I got it but I don't have a bag in a very pretty pastel shade and she looks extremely good because she has got the gold hardware. With the gold hardware, I think it it just really brings out the color which are very even and very very tiny at the side i've been admiring her a lot since although i haven't actually used her on an outing yet i gotta be really really careful because after all it is not a dark color and i gotta think of where i'm going what i'll be doing and most importantly, what I will be eating because what happened to Daddy Himalayan, so unfortunate and I think we're not going to see him for at least a good like four months or something. Hopefully he comes back soon because we really miss him. Just to show you guys a little bit on the inside, the lining is in the same tone, verde. 
usually like to do is to have the lock in the middle. This is a small bag and it could do with this little lock just sitting here. It's quite pretty. That's what I do to all my 25s. So I'll just put this on and show you guys in a minute. It's really easy to match this color somehow. Like I'm wearing pink today and it goes beautifully with the verdure as well. It looks fantastic with a white dress. It will stand out with a black outfit and with all the beiges and uh, browns. It just pretty much really goes with everything. But then again, do I really need a bag that goes with everything? Probably not. So what I'm going to do is to just fold the protector cover. That's what I do with all my bags anyway. And I have um, straw rain protector that I took from another bag that got. Each one comes in a set of two. So I've got rain protection and I'm just going to make sure that I get everything and then we'll find her a spot to live which you know I've already created a spot for her. I just want her to be pretty. have got the lock hanging in the middle. I think I kind of like removed some of them and yeah, some of them still have the lock in the middle. Oh, a very important thing that I wanted to share with all of you. Now all my bags, they wear shoes. You can see that I have put on shoes for Miss Vador as well and most of my bags have now got shoes on. These little plastic protectors for the handbag's feet so that they will not get calluses and scratches. I want to make sure that when I am using it, it doesn't like scratch. So I put on these plastic shoes for the feet and they are available for sale at Rue Mode got them for all the different sizes of my handbags. Even the mini Kelly's is so cute, it's so small. I'm just going to show it to you guys. Look at that, tiny, tiny little shoes. Tiny little shoes. So if you guys are anal you know, like me and you're just like worried about scratches on your handbag, do head down to Rula Mode to get some shoes for your handbags. I found just the perfect spot for Miss Vador. Um, now that Daddy Hima is at the spa, he was actually here. I just shifted things about when I took him out for Miss Vador. And the feet prevents that squeaky sound when I put it on metal. This bag does not have that. Yeah, it doesn't have shoes, so that sound. Ah, oh. So for the 10 days that I was home nursing my eyes, I took all the bags out, I reorganized everything and I'm pretty pleased with what I've done. So I put like boxes with ribbons to decorate the parts that I can see from this view. I redecorated the bag house actually. It was empty and I think they look so much prettier this way and I put some orange boxes galore. So from this view, I think it looks really nice with all the orange boxes just looking at me. I know we just love an orange box moment, don't we? So instead of um, just lying in bed and feeling sorry for myself, I decided to just uh, do a major spring cleaning, make sure that all the shelves are clean. I dusted all my handbags. Well, now they look happy. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I think I have several unboxing videos coming up given the fact that it's the festive season. And I'm feeling a little bit generous to myself. So I bought myself a couple of handbags. You know, I'm just on this handbag spree lately. So see you guys in the next one. Ciao!